Hello, this is Harrison Schmidt, and uh, this video is about how to pick a good, good domain name that'll rank well in search engines for whatever high search volume keyword you want to target. And that's pretty much the key to good SEO, is to put the high search volume keyword that you want to rank for in your domain name. Because if you don't do that, Google's not going to give you, you know, it's really going to hurt your relevancy rankings, the relevancy factors that Google puts on your domain. Um, you know, for example, the top 10 search results for credit cards, which is one of the most competitive, profitable niches on, you know, the internet, because you don't even have to have a product. This is really good affiliate marketing. Creditcards.com, they, uh, they're ranked number 12,000 in the world. They get thousands of visits a day. Half of them are come from Google. Half of them come from organic, and half of them come for, uh, come come from them paying for an AdWords ad in the top three for credit cards. And there are 300,000 searches each month for credit cards, according to Google. And they're targeting that keyword with their domain name and the title of their domain name. You know, that's the second key. You have to pick, you have to put the um, high volume search term in your domain name. Ideally, it should be the domain name, either at .com, .org, or .net, or .us, or .me. Um, those are all good for ranking in SEO, just as long as the search term is the keyword. Or it can be the search term plus another word like creditcardmenu.com, creditcardguide.com, um, creditland, credit.com. Just part, just one of the one of the keywords is good too. But as we can see, it's not as good as credit cards because this is not as relevant. When people search for credit cards, they're uh, they want credit cards, and Google says, well, what's the most relevant site we have to offer? Creditcards.com. Because of his name, and because it has a lot of links, and because, you know, of a lot of other factors, too, but mostly, you know, deep down, it's its domain name. Google gives a lot of credit to branding and stuff. Like, just like for web hosting, you know, that that's another very high search volume keyword. 450,000 450, searches per month. And number one is GoDaddy which has you know GoDaddy everyone knows GoDaddy it's the most popular registrar in the world and it ranks there because it has so many um, backlinks and then the second one though is webhostinggeeks.com it's got the high volume search term that they want to rank for it's got the first uh, the first part of their their homepage title is the high volume search term um, web hosting stuff same web hosting stuff they're, they're ranking for this is for the search term web hosting. Um, find my hosting. They all have the keyword web hosting got info. They all have the their keyword that they're trying to rank for in their domain name. And it's really important to have a good domain name because it really affects the perceived value and it of your site and and it and it's important to have one that you can remember. And this can be applied to any niche. Like you know, I'm just doing web hosting and credit cards because. Um, you can start. You can start your own. You can start a, a website targeting a lower, a lower search volume keyword. Like any of these, they get you know, all of these get lots of searches per month. Eight thousand, six thousand, five thousand, four thousand. There's lots of keywords you can target here with, with the domain name. With your domain name, and it could be real easy to set up a, a, a WordPress site, and get a domain name. It's really cheap to start targeting these. I've done a bunch of them for. For a World of Warcraft guide niche, I have Warrior leveling spec. It gets about 100 a day, 100 visits for being number one. And all I did was get the domain name of the keyword, set it to the title, and when people go there, um, there's another one, number five out of half a million results, Warlock guide, and Shaman PvP, number one of a million results. When you go there, when you go to any of these sites, they're just little 10 page sites that, that um, have you know a little bit of information a few posts and they just have a nice skin that I use this is a, this is a skin you can download for free and basically though they have a pitch for um, affiliate product for a guide that I make $30 30 to $50 it's a Clickbank product each time somebody buys it and about every two days somebody buys it from you know my network of these, uh, well, the Warcraft sites I have, they generate about a sale every two or three days, and I don't do anything. They just they rank and they get traffic, and they go to the affiliate program, and they people. 
and all creditcards.com is is just an affiliate site you know people go there and they can they get referred to any of these credit card programs and then when somebody signs up for these creditcards.com gets 30 to 50 dollars or so um, as a payment by the company for referring someone to them and if you really start looking at it and you start just doing a lot of searches for high search volume keywords um, and how I did this was I went to adwords.google.com forward slash select forward slash keyword tool external and I just typed in credit cards and it gives you a bunch of other relevant terms I sorted by exact and I sorted by local search volume per month and I mean as you can see these people are paying 11 these companies are paying $11 to $20 per click so you know they're converting their their conversion is very high because you can't get credit cards for free like a lot of information products and stuff you can get that stuff for free but you can't get a credit card for free you have to go through a company and so there's a lot, the sign up rate is high of people searching for credit cards that's why these companies are willing to pay 11 15 dollars per sign up or i mean per click so they're probably paying like a hundred dollars per sign up fifty dollars per sign up if it, if their conversion rate is one out of five one out of and and web hosting is similar they give you uh, about you know web hosting each sub on they just have a bunch of links to affiliate programs that they get fifty to sixty dollars per sign up on when people go and sign up for these web hosts they get fifty or sixty dollars per sign and your domain name really affects um, what people are going to link to you with in their anchor text which further I mean the text they're going to use when they link to you which further increases your odds for being ranked for your high volume search term of choice and like again you can target any of these search terms just uh, just like web hosting geeks they're targeting web hosting well you could be cheap web hosting guide or uh, whatever just attach a, just attach another word to the domain because a lot of these if you just search for any of these um, the exact phrase as the domain name as the dot com like for example web hosting web server hosting dot com they're all going to be taken but the me isn't so i mean you could get web server hosting dot me and that's going to rank pretty well because like for example vinyl art this one's pretty competitive fifteen thousand or i mean uh -huh, fifteen million and vinyl art dot info and i found this guy vinyl art dot info ranks third and it's a dot info and it's doing fine out of fifteen million because they picked the domain name they chose they bought the domain name that is the high volume search term that they wanted to rank for and I found this guy on on uh, in the comments on the latest post on copy blogger this morning um, Daniel Edlin and he's ranking there number three of 15 million on a pretty high search volume keyword and you know, again, the two biggest things in SEO are having the keyword you want to rank for in your domain, in the main part of your domain name, you know, in your actual domain name, and having the, um, setting the first part of your homepage title as that high volume search term, you know, like warlockguide.com, warlock guide as the title, and I'm trying to rank for warlock guide, and I'm, you know, fifth for shaman PVP, I'm first. And that's the keyword. So you know it works good. That's how Google's relevancy algorithm works. They try to rank websites that that cover the that target the keyword. You know that have information. The whole they try to rank websites that are dedicated to the keyword you're searching for. So if they see a a site with the domain name as the keyword that you search for then they're going to say, yeah, this site is pretty relevant. So anyway, some good uh, attributes of domain names are you want to make them short. Um, if you're not just doing SEO sites and you're building you know, your business around them, you want to have a .com, .org, .net, 